This screencast is to try and communicate how I'm trying to organize and manage standard space grading within Skyward. So first thing I've done is I've set up grading categories. My district um, has allowed me to put some generic unit 1 through 15. Right now I only have my first semester in here, so it's unit 1 through 6. I've also put in a citizenship category where things that do not fall under um, any of the unit's understandings or objectives, but they do fall under citizenship, turning things in on time um, would be an example, and they go under that category. Also, um, I wouldn't I don't want to punish kids for not getting a concept in the middle of a unit so if you look at all my assignments they're all worth one point so if we go into an assignment A is a 10 B is a 10.5 C is a 7.5 and then if they didn't turn it in there'll be a zero and marked missing well this doesn't change their grade at all but it does make it so it shows up on reports as missing so that the student can get that done now for entering in at the end of the unit I've gotten all my assignments in and when I entered in the assignments I coded them with my unit first that's the letter one and then the main objective for this unit I tried to limit the number of um, big ideas that I was teaching in this unit there was seven um, big ideas there is over 30 learning objectives so now how do I get grades from all of these pieces of evidence. The best way that I found is by clicking on a student and then you go to um, you click on organizing by description. When I do that if you notice it sorts them by their name. Well this helps me because it puts all the ones the pieces of evidence that have one C, one D together and they group them. Then if I go to edit current term I can then um, put in a big assignment in here that's 1C and it's my best um, estimate of their level of understanding based on all the evidence. So I look at all the assignments that are labeled 1C and then I give them a score. So in this case the most important one was the last one which is the test here and I look at their score which was a D and then I look at the quiz beforehand which is a C performance assessments, the two performance assessments, they got an A and a B. Their level of understanding is probably a B or a C. I'm going to go with a C on this one and add a comment that they can redo the test to get a better score on this. Um, redo test. So that reminds them and reminds me that the best way to get their score up would be to show me through a written assignment in this case because their performance assessments were good. Then um, once I've done this for each one of the strands, 1C, 1D, 1E, I just click Save and that puts in um, their grades in here and I can go to the next student after that and just keep working my way through my roster.